Hey, Paul from hey, Movie Paul. Web. Paul, how are you? <laughs> hey, guys, how are you guys doing? Great, Good, hope you're you. doing well. Uh, I am doing well, and I wanted to ask, it's been a couple of years since the last movie, and I find that your movies are always so inspiring to so many people. I want to know, what inspires you guys to take on a new project, and sort of where do you find the story that you decide is the one that you want to focus on next? Well, I, honestly, um, we, we do pray about it before we go into it, but we, we uh, are drawn to the stories that speak to uh, the common man, where he sees a little bit of himself on the screen, and uh, we want to take him from where he's at to take a few steps up um, to, to help him grow his character, his faith, his uh, uh, love for others, and, uh, and so uh, and courageous. We're focusing that around dads and uh, encouraging them to, uh, to, to be the role models and, and the guides for their kids. And we're going to do it in an action-packed, humorous, dramatic way. So that, that, that's how I would sum up Courageous. Well, it's interesting to me that you say you pray before you take on a project. Now, I'm wondering, after you've done that, do you find that sooner or later you find yourself in a situation as far as fireproof, you were working with firefighters here, you're working with policemen. Did you find yourself in a situation with the, the police force, I guess I want to say, that kind of pushed you towards what you wanted to do with this storyline that you felt came from praying? Well, you know, for us, you know, I, honestly, we, our whole team is praying, saying, God, what do you want us to do next? He, he sent us to fatherhood, and then we noted that dads, in many ways, protect and serve their family, and that's, you know, to protect and serve is one of the mottos of our law enforcement. We went to our local sheriff's office. We shared the story with him, and he identified with it. He said, guys, anything we can do to help you, uh, you let us know, and they did. They've been over backwards yes, to help us. absolutely. Well, and I'm wondering, did you look at some of the movies like Training Day? And I know Richard Gere had uh, Brooklyn Finest come out, and these are always really dark, kind of gritty movies that aren't too inspirational. I mean, especially with uh, Brooklyn Finest, it had a really down ending. And I'm wondering if you guys kind of wanted to take that idea of those movies and kind of turn it around to where we are actually seeing a positive spin put on on the police force. Uh, I, I don't remember looking at those movies specifically. You know, we did want it to be realistic and gritty, but at the same time, we, we you know, our, our goal was that when men especially walk out of the movie theater, um, that they've been challenged and inspired. And we wanted them to run home and say, you know what, I want to step up in my own daily life uh, as, as a dad to my kids, as, as a husband yeah. to my wife. And, and uh, But we're going to do that through an inspirational method. And, um and so the, the pre-screens for Courageous have been uh, more than we imagined. And men have, some men have gone back to see it over and over. And so we're, we're, we're uh, uh, thankful for that. Yeah. Well, and I'm wondering, taking on the role of an actor and taking on the role of a director at the same time is an incredibly hard job for anyone to do. What kind of pushes you to do both of those things at the same time? Well, um, you know, I see the movie in my head, and so as I talk to Ken and the others, and, yeah. and you, you kind of lay it out, and we all get it, um, uh, the directing aspects, I wanted to come across very, very naturally, so um, uh, that, that, that wasn't as difficult. To playing the role of Adam that I do uh, was like self-surgery, because as, as the father of six kids, Ken has two, yeah. you know, yeah. we, we realize some areas where it's not, it's not good enough to be a good enough dad. We wanted to be great dads, and so... Um, uh, diving into that role um, had some difficulty, but at the same time, at the end of the day, I was glad I did it, and I think we're all better for it. Yeah. And with this project, I think it's interesting. The last time with Fireproof, you guys had the star power of Kirk Cameron come in and kind of push that project, but so many people know your films now that you don't need that big star, and so now you guys are kind of just taking control of this and pushing it forward. I mean, do you see it that same way that you guys have gotten such a following that you can kind of just go and do whatever you want to do at this point? Well, see, that, that's one of the things about Sherwood Pictures. We don't want to make it just about a person. Right. And, man, we are so grateful that Kurt was able to join us, but we don't want to make it to be about just a person. But this is a, a group of over 1,200 people coming together, using their talents to, to draw people. And uh, it's not just about the church or about the individuals, but, man, this is a collective effort by a body of believers uh, to go after passionately something that they believe in believe in, which are marriages and fatherhood. So we have been really, really excited as a group about uh, producing Courageous and also Fireproof. Well, and I remember when Fireproof came out and I talked to Kirk Cameron about the movie, he said, as you said, that, you know, you have this amazing group of people that yes. come out to help these 
films. And I got the sense that you also have just anybody in the community who wants to come out and help can help. You guys give these guys jobs and inspire them artistically. I mean, is that still what is going on? If somebody wants to come help out, you guys are open to that and kind of bring them all into the fold of, of producing this movie. Well, uh, you know, we, we certainly have parameters, but uh, for our community and for our our, our, our church attenders, we, we want them to use their gifts and abilities to help. So if you were to walk around a location or a set of Sherwood Pictures, you would see hundreds of people, whether they're preparing food because they love to do that, helping in the wardrobe, uh, helping with props, uh, acting. Um, there, there's a number of things that they were doing, and, and it's fun for us because there is a synergy and, 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 a, and a unity yes. that, you know, yes. we're not watching the clock as much, you know, yeah. and we, since we're from Albany anyway, yeah. we we can go home to our homes, but but we love that camaraderie yeah. that we have on set. And, and you know, Kirk, I loved Kirk's statement in Fireproof. This yeah. is like being at a summer <laughs> camp, and there happens to be a movie camera. There. Now, have you found time to go back to writing? I know you've written a couple of books, and you have New York Times bestseller on your hands. I'm wondering what are you going to do as far as writing next? Well, there's a book called Resolution for Men that uh, that's coming out with the movie, and that's as a next step tool. If men go to see this movie and they're encouraged and inspired and they say, you know, what, what could I do to take the next step to be a great dad to my kids? And they can pick up this book, Resolution for Men, at most any Christian bookstore uh, or any bookstore for that matter, and uh, and read that. And it kind of lays out some things that they could do as a next step for dad. And, and certainly for yeah. Ken and I, we're yeah. applying those things to our lives already and, uh, and, and are better for it. Well, and it, Fireproof came out in 2008, and it's about... Three, roughly three years later, I'm wondering, does it take so long to make a movie because you have these book tie-ins and because you're kind of putting a little bit more effort into the overall span of what you're presenting? I mean, this just isn't a movie. I mean, it sounds like you have a lot of components to it. Um, well, you know, we do, we do the books with the movie, and, and for us, it's more about impacting the culture than just having a successful movie. We, we don't make movies just to... Right just to have successful movies. We, we have a purpose behind each one. We do want it to be entertaining and powerful, but we want to leave a mark on the culture, and, uh, and we want to be part of the answer uh, for, for, for calling people to uh, uh, step up in their lives, to take responsibility for their lives, and, and to uh, uh, live a more fuller life. So uh, that, that's part of what we're about, and um, you know, it is a ministry for us more than just a, a business, and so um, we, we love it. We, we love doing these things and, uh, and hope that, uh, that we can leave a positive mark on our culture. And it seems to me because of that, that's one of the reasons Hollywood has such a hard time trying to duplicate what you guys are doing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think so. I, I think that, I think that uh, for us, we're, we're less concerned about the bottom line. Uh, financially, you know, we, of course we hope they do well, mm. but but at the same time, uh, uh, our, our purpose is to honor God with the the opportunity to make these films and and uh, and to uh, challenge people to inspire them. And so, yes, we want to entertain them when they go to the theater. But uh, come September 30th, when people go see Courageous, we hope they walk out and they say, yeah. "Man, that was not only a good movie. Yeah. Uh, I, I want to go home and just hug my kids." Yeah. <laughs> Well, and, and the movies continue to play after the release date. I mean, so many Hollywood movies come out, and they have, like, a shelf date. And mm. They kind of get old, no one wants to see them. But these movies continue to play pretty pretty strongly even past the release date. So, I mean, that's got to be positive for you guys to see that something has such a strong hold on people. I, I think you're absolutely right. And I think people want movies that will that they can sit down with their children and look at. Right. And not just on one date, but for years to come, or when you're sitting down at that Thanksgiving dinner and you mm -hmm. want a good movie that your family can watch together, you're gonna pull a Sherwood movie off the, off the, off the uh, bookshelf. So uh, our prayer is that when people get you know, the Sherwood movies, the Flywheel, the Facing the Giants, the Fireproof, and now Courageous coming out, you know, this, is this is a movie that I can sit down and my, my family will be better for it. And it won't just be a movie that we saw and say, yeah, that's a good movie, and we were never impacted by it. So, and, and to get more information you know, on all of those movies, they can go to www.courageousthemovie.com and get more information, not just for Courageous, but for the rest of the movies that have been out. And just the last statement, you guys have to be thanked for making live action movies that are for the family because, I mean, nowadays it just seems like we're inundated with these animated movies. I don't want to see them anymore. So thank you for that. <laughs>
Uh, we enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. We enjoy it, Paul. Yeah, and you yeah. know, uh, uh, we'll we'll keep them coming. We'll take a little bit of a break and then yeah. then make another one. But yeah, we we want to make movies that we look back on and have no regrets about right. about making Absolutely. them. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming on, guys. I'll talk to you later. Take thank care, you, Paul. Paul.